Good evening, friends. It's Friday evening, about 6 p.m. The boys will be back in about an hour. Madison's already home from her trip uh, to her bed and breakfast. She had a great time. Now, I personally think there's no better breakfast than here at Chris's Country Kitchen, but whatever. Anyway, she had a good time. She had fun. That was the important part. So, she's home. The boys will be home. So, I'm preparing dinner. And let me tell you what I'm fixing tonight. Tonight, we are doing German potato salad. And I also have back here my handy-dandy slow cooker. I have some sauerkraut and right now smoked sausage. Ooh, heavens. Smoked sausage is in there. I've already cooked some broths because... At my house, not everybody likes broths, not everybody likes smoked sausage, so I'm cooking them both. It'll get eaten. So I've already done the bratwurst, and I've pulled those out of the kraut and put in the smoked sausage. These I will sear off in the skillet later. So, one thing you need to know about here, and my family, I've eaten sauerkraut my whole life, but we put sugar in our sauerkraut. That's the way it's always been eaten. That's how I do it. So, uh, if you're not a fan of sauerkraut, maybe hit it with some sugar and maybe you'll like it. Now, my dad and his mom, my mama, um, always made sauerkraut and canned it. It was delicious, but like I said, I've grown up eating it sweet. So, my sauerkraut has sugar in it. Now, I buy the bags of sauerkraut. It's fresh. I buy it in my meat department. I just throw it right in my slow cooker and added the salt of uh, the salt it i don't add any salt any sugar to taste and then i cook it with my meat so that's what's going on back there now here on my stove i have red potatoes and um, i've diced them into quarters and i'm bringing them to a boil now the thing with the potatoes is we're doing the potato salad is you want them fork tender but you don't want them completely too soft as if you're going to mash them because you want them to hold up when we make um, our sauce and we mix them together. So I'm going to give them a minute to, to boil and get uh, close to being done and then we're going to create our sauce for those delicious warm German potatoes. We'll be right back. So we're ready for the next step. Inside my skillet here, um, I got a couple tablespoons of bacon grease. So save that baked grease for date night, a little behind the ears, or in the jar for some biscuits. So you wanna fry off 12, 12 ounces of bacon. So I've done that earlier and crumbled that up. And I saved my bacon grease, put the rest in my jar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give that a minute for that grease to get warm. And I'm gonna throw in my onions and saute those. Now I have a half a Vandalia onion here. You could do a full onion or you could do a red onion, whatever onion choice you would like. So I'm gonna throw those in and I'm gonna saute those until they're almost see-through. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna make the sauce that's gonna go on top of those potatoes. So I'm gonna give these a quick saute in that bacon grease and I'll be right back. So here are my red potatoes. They're done, they're fork tender. I've drained those and now I've shut the heat off but I'm gonna put the pan back on the stove to draw out any of that extra moisture while we're doing the sauce. Okay, so we're on to the third step here. We've got our potatoes, we've got this drain. They're sitting back on the burner to get out that extra moisture. Here are these onions that we saute in that bacon grease. We're gonna add three tablespoons of vinegar. Now I'm using apple cider. It's not as uh, tangy as uh, white vinegar. So if you wanna use white vinegar, you can. Three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. A fourth a cup of chicken stock. It's just gonna give it a nice creamy texture. We got a teaspoon, and I might have scored it a little bit more because I like mustard, of some Dijon mustard. Okay. And then we've got sugar. Uh, you can use, depending on how sweet you want it, you can do a half a tablespoon or a tablespoon of sugar. And then minced garlic, you can use fresh. I like my minced. I'll put about body fat. About a tablespoon of minced garlic. Okay, I'm gonna take this back to the stove and bring it up to a nice boil. It smells amazing. I'll be right back. 
Now it's time for the last and final step, the delicious step. So I have these uh, red potatoes here in my uh, mixing bowl. Now I'm gonna come in with some salt because we haven't, we, I saw the potatoes when I cooked them in the water. We're gonna add some pepper. I'm gonna give this a quick gentle toss. Then I'm gonna come in with my bacon. I'm gonna put right in on those potatoes. And here comes the sauce. Turn off my burner. So here is that onion and vinegar and sugar and mustard mixture. So I'm gonna pour it right on. Now this is something that you want to serve warm, so you'll want to eat it right away, or at least if you have the leftovers, heat it up in the microwave, or even maybe put it back in the skillet. Set that back here. We're going to give this a toss. My cousin Nanette, when she found out I was making German potato salad, she messaged me today and told me a story about her and her best friend in high school made a, tried to make an anniversary dinner for her best friend's parents. They made German potato salad. They forgot to cook the potatoes. Could you imagine biting into them? And here's the parents, you know, and they're, they're like, oh, what a nice thing these girls have done for us. And you bite into a big old uncooked tater. She said after they left, they went out to eat. <laughs> it's a thought that counts, right? So there we have it. Quick, easy, simple warm German potato salad. Of course, you know I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a taste. Mm, delicious. I'm gonna come back and show you the whole meal together and let the dogs out, because clearly they're barking at something. Be right back. So here it is, the final product. I forgot to tell you to add some parsley. I don't have any fresh parsley, so I added some dried into there. There it is, that delicious warm German potato salad. It's something different to have for your cookout or Friday night or whenever. So here we go. We've got that kraut. I've got the, um, I've got some smoked sausage. So let's give it a try all together. Super hot. I'm gonna take a bite here for you. Mmm. Mm. So delicious, so easy, so quick. I let my slow cooker do the work with that sauerkraut and that um, bratwurst and the smoked sausage. And then it was just as simple to do this German potato salad and have it all up together. What a wonderful feast, friends. Now I forgot to mention, I think I did about two pounds of the um, red potatoes. There you have it. Thanks for pulling up a chair and hanging out with me in my kitchen this evening. I'm gonna go have this delicious bite here and I hope you have a great night. And once again, I thank you for hanging out with me. If you're new here, like and subscribe, hang out. We have a lot of fun. We really do.